Hi, I'm Tim Teller, Canon for Music at St. John's Cathedral, with just a couple words about the music for this Sunday, September 22nd. For our prelude at the 1030 service, we have a really special treat this Sunday. We're going to be joined by the clarinetist Kevin Clausen LeBlanc, who is going to be playing the prelude with, uh, with myself this uh, Sunday. And it's actually going to be the second movement of Brahms' F minor sonata for clarinet and piano. Late in life, Brahms developed a real affinity for the sound of the clarinet, and in particular for the work of the clarinetist Richard Mufeld, a clarinetist who Brahms knew and greatly admired. And so in 1894, just a couple years before he died, Brahms wrote two wonderful clarinet sonatas, one in F minor and one in E flat, along with a couple other chamber works um, which feature the clarinet. The, um, these sonatas are core to the clarinet repertoire, some of the finest ever written. And the slow movement of number one in F minor is um, particularly um, gorgeous. It's a wonderful piece. And so that's what we're gonna be playing this Sunday for the prelude. And if you'd like to hear more of the sonata, we're gonna be performing the complete sonata at five o'clock in Tolliver Hall in a recital this Sunday afternoon. Our offertory anthem this Sunday is a setting of When I Survey the Wondrous Cross by the American composer and arranger Gilbert Martin. Martin is a contemporary American um, who graduated from Westminster Choir College and is currently living in Dayton, Ohio. And he's received tremendous um, awards for his work as a conductor and composer and arranger. And his setting of When I Survey the Wondrous Cross really shows his gift for composition, which utilizes organ and choir, really understands the instrument very well, and it shows very clearly. It's a very effective, it's pretty simple, but very effective setting of that text. Our post of this Sunday is simply entitled Carillon, <clears throat> and it's by the great 20th century Parisian organist Louis Vierne, who was organist at Notre Dame Cathedral for several decades in the early 20th century. This is from a collection entitled 24 Pieces in Freestyle. And there are 24, as the name suggests, 24 rather short pieces, generally speaking. And they're very evocative and they contain some of Vierne's very finest writing for the organ. This particular piece, as its name suggests, tries to evoke the sort of feel of a carillon, which is tolling or ringing. And Vierne does this by setting a little ostinato, which is a little repeated figure in the pedals, right at the beginning of the piece. And then um, over top of that, great chords in the manuals come in. And it sort of gives the impression of a, um, of a peeling carillon. I hope you enjoy the music this Sunday.